Alright, hey guys, I thought I'd show you my tablet set up in my car, in the, in, in the Jeep. Um, a lot of people have been asking me why I decided to go for a case and a keyboard instead of a keyboard and a case. And this is actually why. So you pull the, the Nexus 7 out and you've got the keyboard there's locked on to the, to the tablet itself. And it just pops right off. So you, the tablet just slides in and there's two buttons on the back. You just press a little bit and locks in place. And then you just plug it in like so. And I'm gonna put the car in accessory here. And you see the tablet comes up saying that it's charging. And then you just give this a second and it'll connect back in, like that. And you see it says that it's connected to the tablet. And right now it's connected into Wi-Fi out because I'm at home. Normally though it will be connected in through uh, wireless tethering to my Galaxy S3 once we get that fixed. Um, and here's the keyboard, which you can see it's got a groove here so you can actually stand the tablet on the keyboard, but you just flip it on there and it'll actually connect to that. And you see I've got control of it from here, which really I can't use it so much as um, my passengers would be able to. Um, obviously it wouldn't be really a smart thing to be sitting here driving and messing with the tablet. So I, I do still have to enable like uh, shortcuts on the lock screen and things like that, but at first look it's pretty nice. So we'll just pop into Google Maps here. Which there I've got a, I, I just uh, was messing with Google Navigation earlier. So if, you're, if you were to go into navigation mode, which just hit start on the uh, head north on Ember Sands Drive, the Ward Bear Creek Way. It'll actually give you instructions on where to go. Of course, I've got my back button on the keyboard that I can just press. So say you wanted to look something up, you just go. You just type it in and press enter, and it'll give you a route if you want a route. Right, yeah, right now it takes a little bit to load because our internet's kind of slow. There it goes. Um, but some of the other things we've got is like a torque, which I still have to finish setting up. I set it up for my motor, spe my engine specifications. But you can actually. Uh, from the real-time information page, which I got to, like I was saying, I got to reset this so it's got all my, all the things that I want on it. You can actually see a whole bunch of different information on there. Plus that'll enable GPS tracking and things, but that's pretty cool. We'll just go ahead and quit out of that. Um, what else is there? I mean, those are the, the three really big fun main functions. Is going to be maps, torque, because I can check vault codes and stuff. I'll also probably run that on the S3 as well. So that if I'm, you know, if I'm out somewhere and i got to check engine light, I can still check my fault codes. Um, the other thing, obviously, is music. So all I have to do for that is obviously choose what you want to listen to and hit play. And it'll show what's playing. And another interesting fact about that is you can actually use the function keys on the keyboard to uh, control the tablet 
even for that. Which is pretty cool. Anywho, I mean, right now, as of right now, that's most of what it can do. Um, obviously, you could play movies on it and stuff, but, you know, it's kind of a distraction. I wouldn't really be comfortable with that. Um, so, at the moment, that's that's what I've got it set up to do. So, so far, so good. And the tablet handles it really well. Um, the backlight on my... Or, not the backlight, but the screen when you use the screen a lot on my Galaxy S3, it tends to heat up. It gets really hot. This thing barely even gets warm. Um, I actually just drove it to Safeway and back, got gas, and this thing was unlocked the entire time, and it didn't even have a problem. So that's pretty cool. Um, for now, that's all I've got. Once I have a little bit more on the setup, I'll update you on it. But for now, that's what I got. Of course, also, through Bluetooth, you do have steering wheel controls through the head unit, which is why I chose this head unit as compared to some of the others. So, seeing as most vehicles have steering wheel controls, I'm surprised that very few seem to have uh, the ability to connect to a steering wheel control interface. So, you can be listening to music, and let's go ahead and play. Where's North from here? And it will just go through and uh, switch through, which is pretty cool. So that's that's all I got for now. So when I have more, like I was saying, I'll update you. And until then, peace.